Okay, productivity principle number two. Managing time is actually about managing yourself. One of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard about time management is uh, actually something that argues with time management, and it's a quote from Stephen Covey, and it goes like this. Stephen Covey says, time management is a misnomer. The challenge is to manage ourselves. You can't really manage time. Time just flows. We only get so much of it, and we all get the same amount. Whereas ourselves, that's a completely different story. When you try to manage time, you're trying to manage something that you really have no control of. It's really a self-torture uh, method. Right? If, uh, if you say, I want to manage my time better, you're not really talking about managing your time. So when you go try, it's going to be elusive and it's going to be very frustrating. If you say, on the other hand, I want to learn how to manage myself better, that creates a whole new level of awareness, a whole new level of insight. So what do I mean by managing yourself? What I mean is that when you say I want to manage time, it's an external thing. You're projecting. You're kind of almost not taking responsibility. When you say I'm going to manage myself, you're taking full responsibility for what you're doing and for the results that you're getting. And you're saying, you know what, I need to manage myself better. Managing yourself is about getting control of yourself. And when you try to control yourself, you start to realize that you really have much less control than you think that you do. I know somebody that I was talking to recently, and I said, uh, you know, I've been learning this great stuff from this person about, uh, you know, how to better do uh, business and, you know, create value for other people. And uh, it's really interesting because I'm having a lot of financial success as a result of doing this. And they said, yeah, you know, I could have financial success if I wanted, but uh, I, don't, I don't really care about any of that stuff, and I think it's just manipulating people and whatever, and I don't know. And I said, well, I don't know. I don't really know if you could get yourself to do this because, you know, frankly, you really can't get yourself to do much in your life. You know, and this is somebody I know that's a friend. I was just kind of, you know, messing with them. And they said, no, I could if I wanted. And I said, oh, yeah? They said, yeah. I said, okay, how about this? Try fasting for 36 hours. Okay, so in other words, you know, at the end of a day, go to sleep, wake up the next day, don't eat anything the entire day, go to sleep that night and wake up the next morning and then eat. Fast for 36 hours. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that either. Well, why not? I mean, it would be fun just as an experiment. Uh, okay, bottom line, we are not as in control of ourselves as we think. And uh, one of the most uh, enlightening things that I've ever learned is that we are really almost like robots. That we wake up every day, we do the exact same things, we think the same thoughts, we feel the same emotions, we go through the same movements, and we're just laying this, it's like laying pavement over pavement over pavement, and we get to the point where we can't do anything different. But we deceive ourselves, and we tell ourselves that we could change if we wanted. We're just not choosing to. It's a great little trick that we play on ourselves. The bottom line here in principle number two is that it's much harder to manage yourself than you think it is. You need a lot of help in this area. If you doubt me, try this. Tomorrow, don't eat any food, only drink water. Just try it. If you've never fasted, this will be one of the most enlightening experiences of your life. For the first few hours, you'll, you'll feel good about it. You'll be like, ah, oh, I got this handled. You start getting into the afternoon, your stomach starts uh, churning, your blood sugar gets low, you'll be saying, oh, I don't know if this is the right thing. Then late in the afternoon, early evening, you, something scary will happen. Your mind will take over and it'll start saying things to you like, is this healthy? Maybe this isn't good. Maybe I should look up and see if anyone's ever died from this. I, I, don't, know, I, I don't know if this is good. And you'll realize you're totally out of control. And it'll just be because you skipped a couple of meals. Now, the good news is that there are ways to learn to manage yourself better. There are ways to get yourself under control. There are techniques you can use, and I'm going to teach you some of those. But it's very important that you realize that this is about managing yourself. It's not about managing time.